Warning, the following video of this Let's Play is rated M for Mature for these reasons shown here. If you do not want to see any of these at all, I suggest pausing and leaving this video right now. You have been warned. Hello everybody, this is Sparman16, welcoming you back to Let's Play Bayonetta. Last time out, we took, we took care of Chapter 11, which was taking on Mr. Mr. Big Boss Tentacle Monster, um, number, and which was Big Boss number three. Sometimes I just can't say things. So anyway, we're going to be taking care of Chapter 12, The Broken Sky. Let us begin. <laughs> I feel like these items for us really do help. Excuse me, sir. May I have my glasses back? Huh? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Cereza, how did you get such magical glasses? <laughs> the glasses aren't magic, silly. I can see the monsters without them. Monsters? What? So, uh... Has Bayonetta, I mean your mom, been fighting these big bad monsters for a long time? Mummy is a witch, and witches protect people and are very strong. When I grow up, I'll be strong too, and I'll protect my mummy. <laughs> Wait, you think witches do what? Oh, forget it. Point in arguing with a little kid. Yeah. I'm sure you will. Oh! Ow! That probably hurt. <laughs> Shit. You never cease to amuse me, Cheshire. I suppose that's your next target? <laughs> yeah. This is yours, little one. You didn't cry when I was gone, did you? Not a tear. Nope. Good. Bayonetta, no matter how I ask, no matter how many times, you always say the same thing. Oh, come now, Kitty. You know it was a always misunderstanding. You're so stubborn, you know that? My father, he was a journalist too. In fact, he was twice the man I could ever hope to be. He was obsessed with one case his entire career. A case so bizarre it took over his life. Now they could have made a movie of the details. The followers of darkness, the Umbra witches, and their light world counterparts, the Lumen Sages, controlling everything with a power known as the Eyes of the World. Then, disappeared from their medieval home in Europe. You may be familiar with the town. You're standing in it. Welcome to Vigrid, 500 years later. 500 years? Each clan, working at the behest of the powers that be, sought to lead their fractured world towards peace. They both possessed an eye said to have the power to create history that they used to oversee the world. However, their spirit of cooperation did not last. For amongst them, a pair of young star-crossed lovers conceived a child that sent the clans on a path to ruin. The woman was thrown in jail and the man exiled from his clan. However, the child remained with the young one raised as a black sheep, even amongst the darkness. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost, both clans spiraled into decay. The legend had it that the two eyes could be united to control reality itself. And this legend fueled ambition and desire, leading to a myriad of battles between the clans. In fact, it led to their mutual 
mutual destruction. My father was mocked for buying such a fairy tale. However, I believed his story. And I believe it more than ever now that I've found you. The memory of the clan lingers on, despite the passing of 500 years. What on earth was my father searching for? And why did he have to die for it? I have to discover the truth with my own eyes. That's why I haven't given up my chase for it. Or you. The head of the Ithaval group, the multinational that dominates Vigrid, recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. If he isn't selling out in the open, it means we're going to have to acquire it by other means. And that starts by sneaking onto that jet. Almost a plane. Just, uh, oh. okay. okay, so I can't take, I can't, I can't pull out this plane. Don't do that. Oh, I'm doing that. Hey, we go, buddy. Oh, the red hot shot. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, that white. I know what that is. I know. I know who's attacking me. Gold, it's fine. Oh, target my door open. I need 
see what the fuck up with that plane.
they somehow made an icicle spear. Fill them. Fill your eyes with hatred. Accept your violent fate. Accept it and earn the left eye. Prove you deserve it. <laughs> Johnny can be fun sometimes. This part of the mission or the chapter. Okay, I gotta put her down. Okay, okay. okay I cannot lose sight of her. Remember, I 
can't be sight of her. Okay, put her down over here. Yep. Oh, I forgot that bit. No, 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 no. You get away from the child. You get away. Go, child, let's go. I gotta put her down far enough away. Or I can fight. No! You do not hit the child! Well, I'm here! Here are the hails. Pick up the child. Let's go! Uh, the plane's gonna sink. Uh, broke apart. Oh, you punks! Punks! No, I saw you over there. I saw you over there, you little punk. Yeah, it's like... out. Like, it got covered up. But with that, chapter 11, complete. Or chapter 12, I meant to say. <sighs> Alright. So chapter 12 is done. Alright, we got some bullets. Man, I can't aim. Okay, I can't, can't be able to exchange for that. So I'll just exchange for more halos. Uh, I never did like that part of the mission the first time around. So there's our indication of where we're going next. But that's not until the next chapter. So, I'm gonna save up. A sign of things to come. So... We're just gonna enter the gates of hell because we actually do have some halos to spend. And that is still cool. Hey, Rodan. I can deal with the devil. <laughs> Relax. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, no. Weapons. Okay, nothing really much worth here. Okay, nothing really have anything here. Nothing really much here. I guess I'll just buy some items. Buy me. One of these, one of these, and one of these, and one of these. Just gonna buy me some stuff. Mm, I do have enough for an accessory. Internal communicator. Mm, please, my magic gauge. Pulling butterfly. Resolves attacks on their behalf before breaking up. Hmm. 
I guess there's really, really much here for me. So, I think that'll be it for me in terms of buying anything from the gates of hell. So, I'm gonna say about one more time. Alright, so that'll be it for this episode. So, next time on Let's Play Bayonetta, we'll be taking care of Chapter 13 The Cardinal Virtue of Prudence. I don't know. That's a word I can't pronounce, but that pretty much means we got another boss fight ahead of us. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and as always, my outro handles the rest. I'll see you guys next time.